In this video we're going to have a look at how to use variables in Python. Variables are probably the most important thing in programming. Uh, they store values while the program is running and if you think about it a program that can't remember any information isn't going to be much good to us. You wouldn't want to play a game for example that couldn't remember what your score was. Um, Python in common with most programming languages um, has types of variables and we'll have a look at those first. Uh, unlike some other programming languages like C or um, Visual Basic, you don't need to declare your variables at the top of your program. You don't need to say what type they're going to be before you use them. You just go straight in and use an assignment or a definition to give them a value. So a variable name um, is any uh, string of letters or possibly letters and numbers that isn't a command. So quite often you can use just a single letter if your program's quite short. Um, so like in algebra you might use X to represent a particular value or you can use um, a word that would make sense, so give it a meaningful name. So for example in a game you might want to call, call it a variable score and you might want to set it to zero at the beginning of your program. So the syntax for doing that is just this. So uh, we've got the, the name of the variable and then the equal sign and then the zero. So one thing to remember is in Python, unlike maths, um, the equal sign doesn't mean is equal to, it means make it equal to. So what this is saying here is make score equal to zero. And if I press the enter key, I'm using the immediate mode here, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to uh, display anything or return a value, but it will store that number. So if I now print score, for example, it'll show me zero because score has the value of zero. I said there are different types and there's four types that you commonly come across in Python when you're a beginner. Um, so this first one is a number and it's a whole number. So you can see what type a variable is in Python by using the type command. So if I do type uh, score, for example, uh, and press enter, it'll tell me that it's type int. And int is short for integer, which is the mathematical term for a whole number. So we can um, we can have whole numbers. So uh, one, for example, uh, we can have decimal or floating point numbers. So if we have, say, 2.5, if I do type B, then we can see that that's called a float in Python. So we don't need to say uh, what type our variables are. Python chooses a type automatically for us. Um, so at the moment, if I do type A, hopefully you might expect that that would be an integer because 1 is a whole number. But if I then change it, so if I say A equals 1.5, so if I do something like that, it just resets the value or gives it a new value. Um, so if I do that now, and now do type A, we can see that it's changed to a float. So um, Python does some type management for us, and if you're new to Python from something like C or Visual Basic, that might be uh, a bit unusual for you. Um, so the other types we've got are text. So if we say... Um, C is equal to Andrew. So uh, remember speech needs to go in uh, speech marks and if we say so type C is uh, STR. So STR is short for string which is sort of programmer speak for text and the fourth type that you're um, likely to come across is uh, boolean. So we can use true or false um, so you might remember for that from your boolean logic and or not etc. And if we do type uh, D, then it will show that it's a bool, which is short for boolean. So Python automatically gives our variables a type, and it will change them according to um, what it thinks we want to store in them. So that might seem that may, might seem nice and straightforward, the fact that it does it for you, but it can cause some complications sometimes. So if I just say A equals uh, 3, for example, and B equals 2, um, if I do some calculations, if I say print, in fact I don't need to print it, I don't think, so uh, if I do A plus B, it gives us the answer 5, which is what you'd expect. If we do A minus B, so this is very, very much like simple sort of algebra, um, it gives us 1. If we do A 
times b. So we use the star, the asterisk, shift 8, uh, for multiplying because there's no multiply symbol on the keyboard. a times b, so that's the same as Excel in fact, isn't it? Um, is 6, as you expect, 2 times 3. So what about if I do some division then? So if I do a divided by b, what are we going to expect the answer to be? Well, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, isn't it? And what Python has told us is that the answer is 1. So why has it done that? So let's have a look. So type A is an integer, and type B is also an integer. So let's see if it'll let us do this. So what's the type of A divided by B? Well, that's also an integer. So what Python does is it does... Uh, some sort of, well not thought, but it thinks, well, if you're adding two integers together, uh, the answer is going to be an integer. So two whole numbers always give you a whole number answer. Similarly, if you're taking away or multiplying. But that doesn't work, does it, when you're dividing? So it's sort of decided that if you're dividing two integers, the answer is also going to be an integer, which is wrong. So what you can do in uh, Python is you can also force um, variables to be a different type. So these types that the type command is showing us, uh, str, bool, int, and float, uh, are also commands in themselves. So if I do um, float1, for example, what that means is make x equal to 1, but make it a float, so a floating point 1. So now if I print x, it'll be 1.0, and we can see that it's uh, a floating point number rather than a whole number. Similarly, we can you can even do this. You can say, um, in fact, I don't need to assign it. I'll just say, so if I do string one, um, it'll put the speech marks around it for me. So it'll turn it into text rather than a number. So we can use these. Can So can we use these um, to display the right answer? So you might be thinking, well, actually, if I do this, float a divided by b, That'll give, us, give me the right answer, uh, but it doesn't. So just like Bodmas, it does the A divided by B first to give us the 1, and then it turns the 1 into a floating point number. So actually, what you need to do is apply the float to a part of the calculation. So if you do this, so if you do float A, so that'll turn A into 3.0 uh, divided by B, that'll give the right answer. Or indeed, if you do A divided by float B, that will also give the right answer because Python realizes that if part of the calculation is a floating point or decimal number, then the answer is most likely to be as well. Um, if you're using you know, actual numbers rather than variables, you can force it to become a float by putting the decimal point in yourself. So another option would be to do something like 3.0 divided by 2, which will give you 1.5, whereas just 3 divided by 2 will give you the 1. Or, in fact, if you do 3 divided by 2.0, it will also give you 1.5. So that's just um, something to watch out for. Um, this idea of um, automatically changing types might seem a good idea, but sometimes it can give you an unexpected answer. So if you're doing a calculation and the answer doesn't seem quite right, that's probably um, 